Hey, and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk, episode 52. I'm your host, Tracy Carnazzo, famous comedian, joined by my regular co-host. I'm just kidding. Very famous co-host, Gabrielle Fregala. Hi. And Noel Winters. Hi. Just kidding, guys. We are joined here by a special guest, very super famous comedian. You've seen her on MTV's Girl Code. You've seen her all over the world, probably. Yeah. Chanel Ali. Thank you guys so much for having me. Yay. Thank you for being we're here. Thank you so much I for being here. I love the sparkle around your eyes. Thank you so much. I just noticed that's it's so pretty. It's very cheap. I, I like it. Really yeah, very it's like cheap. It doesn't look like makeup. daddy issues. You're, no, you know? I'm no, I like it. I'm chilling. You look good. Yeah. You're glowing. Thank you so much. Chanel is glowing here in our studio. Uh, Chanel, what have you been working on? So we know that you've been on Girl Code on MTV. Yeah, we just uh, wrapped up that season. Uh, you can watch all those episodes on Snapchat at right. any time. Just search Girl Code. Um, I've been opening up for Michael Che. I've been so traveling cool. with him, doing shows for, from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, I'm about to do a show in the Hamptons with the Roots. That should be lit. Ooh, Ooh. Where are the Hamptons? I have no idea. This is I don't exciting. Know. They send me a van. I get in it. Yes. They just go. Do you are the so jokes, trusting. You know, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. That you're you're like doing fun. really well. Um, so everyone's gonna want to see you and want to follow you right now. So why don't you yeah. just throw out your social media handles? Right Absolutely. Now. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chanel underscore underscore Ali. That's Chanel like the perfume. Two right. underscores Ali. Like so not Muhammad. channel. Not channel. Right. <laughs> okay. Chanel like the perfume. Two underscores Ali like Muhammad. Okay, awesome. Ooh. So, guys, check her out. Pause the podcast right now. Go follow her and now right come now. back to us. Okay, give him a second. Go. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> Thank wow. you guys so much for Good following job. her. You clicked it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Good job. Isn't she pretty? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to talk about season eight, episode 28 of Team Mom 2. First of all, episode 28. Give me a break. Also, I was reading something when I was reading the gossip this week, and they were like, oh, uh, when Janelle taped the reunion for season 8B so dumb guys call it a season nine give yeah. me a break episode 28 why did they, is it is it because they can't decide if they have enough to Maybe. make a whole season i, I was think thinking it has why. something to do with contracts as well because mm. when you sign a contract for a new season it's a big a deal rate, right exactly stuff. yeah uh, so they don't have to renegotiate. They could just say we added episodes on this season, which is total bullshit. MTV, get your shit together. Yeah, Seriously. MTV's been cheap for a while, Tracy. Though. Seriously. Tracy's going to clean my engagement I'll ring I'll clean your engagement again. ring in a little while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Chanel, have you met anyone really cool at the MTV studios? Ooh. Um, at the MTV studios? Yeah. No. No, one? no because uh, it's... It's it, we did Girl Code with a production company that's okay. like separate from MTV, uh, so they did it. You know, it is MTV's Girl Code, but it was sure. a different company. Okay, so yeah. all right. So you weren't like uh, in the offices, like just running Not the into MTV like offices. NASA. I have or been. I have been to the MTV sure. offices. Um, I did an interview with TRL before cool. uh, to, to be a writer on TRL. Um, so I've been there, but I don't think I really ran into anybody. No, no one. But okay. Yeah, but I don't know if you know like Monroe Martin. Yeah, of and, course, yeah. Um, Monroe's Mateo on Guy Lane. Code as well. Yeah, Mateo's they're on Girl on Code Guy. too. So, yeah. they, so they filmed with us. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So they were cool. around. You know? Cool. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, yeah, Mateo actually did a TRL uh, late night with Kaylin. Oh yes. And I was fangirling over it. It's so good. I was like, Mateo, we need to talk. And it's he's like, What's wrong? Yeah. And I'm like, Kaylin. Mm. And he's like, Oh, okay. I thought it was something. I thought it was real. Yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. So um, this episode is called Forgot About Dre. Uh, and it the, the description is Javi gets jealous when Brianna calls on an ex to take care of her after surgery. Leah and Jeremy reconnect and Aubrey and Cole attend a father daughter dance. I just fell asleep. Their uh, descriptions are getting worse and they're worse. They're getting worse. I don't know why they're not hiring me. Seriously. Because yeah. it would be offensive. That's why. <laughs> uh, so we're going to start off with Brianna. Yeah. There's so much. Uh, so Brianna looked into the surgery. She learned it, she said. Right. <laughs> she was like, no. She was like, wait, I learned it. I learned it, She guys. was saying it in a way to convince yeah. other people. Right. right. She was yeah. in the playroom. Like, I know what they're going to cut. Yeah, and they're <laughs> going to let me. And this is a, a quote from her. She said, I still get to keep my same belly button. Which is, Great. I guess, just amazing. I wow. didn't feel good about that because no. I didn't know that they replaced your right. belly button. Also, where did they get the other belly button from? Did no, they use no, your asshole? No, no, I watched. <sighs> have you guys not watched Dr. Miami? No. No. I don't okay, watch, watch his Instagram. Do, you do? I, yeah. I his watch his, his okay. Snapchat. Ladies, they, they tell us. When they do like a full tummy tuck, okay. your belly button disappears because they take the fat off. And they throw and it in then, the garbage. Yeah, they throw it in the garbage. And then they cut a new belly button. That's why Janelle's belly button looks crazy. Yes, it's because they cut it. They kind of yeah. like open it up and then they like sew around it to make it a new belly button. I just fainted. Like a balloon knot. 
Yep. Yeah, it's really nasty. Like an asshole. I would ask them to take my asshole and put it on my belly button because I would want a natural looking belly button. <laughs> well, yeah. listen, she's keeping her old one. And she did research, not she on Dr. Miami. She did do research. She learned it. He killed. He almost killed her twice. Right. So oh, who, did, who did you learn? Dr. Miami. You didn't know about what happened with Rihanna? I didn't know that <gasps> she had Gabrielle. complications. I didn't know that. Yeah. She had, like, she lost so much blood. They needed to do, like, a bunch of blood transfusions. I know, but Dr. Miami, doesn't he have, like, a really clean record of, like, no. never? I Dude, that's so. what I thought. I thought I thought he, like, never no. lost a person. I mean, lost a person. He knew where the body was. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. She, like, they were every, dead, though. Like, her, I think, Shirley, like, every time, like, he's done surgery on Brittany, a few people. Brittany also lost a lot of blood. I think she was in the ICU. She almost yeah, died. But she they go died. because because it's they, cheap it's cheap or free mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and it's just a mini tummy tummy tuck so that's why she gets to keep her belly button. and he's gonna deflate her they ass just, they just take yes. her pouch yeah which what listen, does that i'm mean? not opposed to like they put in a lot of fluid in the ass and they want to take some of it out i don't think it's fluid oh i think it's uh like filler maybe it's the I thing mean, is it's it too fat? much filler that it looks like a diaper but it's, it's not, not too much just it's, it's badly butt. placed it's the mm. hips it's just botched up it's very uh it's poorly sculpted yes it very is and, it, and, it, and i think it like settled weird into her butt like you know how it, like it takes time to yeah. settle like he always says in his snapchats he'll like massage it a little bit and then he'll be like you know it takes it, it'll yeah. take its own gravity shape. yeah and hers just took a bad shape uh, I don't know if we should blame Brianna's ass for, you know what I mean? Like, I think it might <laughs> it have been It was going him. through a lot of things, you know? She yeah. sits on her ass all day. That's true. That's true. She why. sits on it, and then she gets, like, she goes out to the club. She gets banged by randos. And hobby. <laughs> you know, hobby, yeah. randos. Just, yeah. like, anyone, whoever, yeah. you know? I, so, here's the thing. I heard a rumor. I don't know if it's true. Mm-hmm. I heard she's sleeping with her mom. What? Oh my God. Well, they had an intense makeout session. Right. What? So, I don't know. Rob did Sands you see, got did you see the, the makeout sesh? I didn't see them making out. Honestly, my mom kisses me that way. Yeah, well, there's something wrong with your mother. I mean, there is. <laughs> okay, I come from a family of mouth kisses. <laughs> right, so here's the thing. When I, so Gabrielle likes to kiss a baby on the mouth. She will oh. kiss, um, you know, she's, she's a big, we call her a baby mouth kisser. Yeah. yeah. She's, she'll kiss a kid right on the mouth. How do you feel about that? Uh, don't kiss my kid, you know. I right, but even, like, are you gonna kiss your kid? Kids. Right, but are you gonna kiss your kid on the mouth? Maybe when they're really little. Like, yeah, right, when, like they're when they're like, like this big. Yeah, right, like, maybe when they're okay, really little. Three years old. My niece yeah, is three, three, and I kiss her on the mouth, and not all, not exclusively on the mouth, but no, you know, but I'll be like, we can mix it in on a special <laughs> occasion. Yeah. <but. laughs> once you get once you get to a point where you can tie your shoes real comfortably and brush your teeth, I'm not kissing you on the mouth. That's agree. I, I would rather kiss you when you could brush your teeth. My mm. mom still kisses me on the mouth. Like I'm my, so sorry. It's no, but it's like a peck. It's like a. Yeah. No, I get it. But yeah. But I mean, you I don't think see she how they kiss. Tongue, yeah. I did. I don't think I. Maybe I didn't. Oh, it's okay. It. You know what? I retweeted the video. Oh, okay. so don't you yeah, worry. Don't you I worry about it. it. We I will tag you it. in it. Uh, yeah. So they were they were pretty, pretty going. They were going at it pretty, yeah. pretty hard. So uh, they hired a nurse to take right. care of them. So also, why is Shirley getting like? Who are you? That's her friend. Yeah, that's her friend. Yeah, she got like, her butt done. I think only. She should get her face done. I could see. Oh, damn. I could see Dr. Miami <laughs> just sitting down with them and being like, you should get a friend. Bring a right. friend. You know, yeah. like just yeah. you, you got a girlfriend. some rap music. You know? Rihanna won't stop talking about it. She needs somebody to wipe her ass. Yeah. It's like enough. So now enough. she hired a nurse for the first two days. Javi was supposed to be the nurse. Right? To wipe right. her ass. Um, and Shirley's ass. And, and Shirley's, Shirley's ass. ass. So they decided that <laughs> since Javi's not going to be there, they got a nurse for the first two days. And then Dre, her ex-boyfriend who came to her baby shower, right. is going to take care of her and Shirley. Shout right. out to Dre and wipe the rest. And Devon okay. D is going to take care of the baby. Devon's going to take out. Care okay, of the babies. but but also Devon also didn't like come that night. Like he was supposed up. to show yeah, up. Yeah, he's like it's too cold. Like it's too cold to take the bus. And you live in Florida. Florida. Yep. Oh my. You know? I facts. forgot they lived in yeah. Florida. Yeah. 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 And the mom was like, "Oh, it's okay." And I was it like, is "This cold. seems like the start of a pattern yep. of." He's yep. not going to be over there. But she goes, it was, it's okay. It is cold. That's what she said. But yeah, saying. it's cold in But Florida. I can see that Javi probably was sitting at home and he was like, damn, some, somebody else is going to wipe her ass? Yeah. Right. Damn. He got yeah. mad. He got mad about the white so ass wiping. Wha- so she, she's talking on the phone and she's like, hey, Shirley, Javi's so mad that Dre's going to get to clean our poop. Uh-huh. And why are you talking? You broke up with him. Mm. You guys broke up. Why are you still having conversations? But that's why I know the relationship mm. wasn't fake. Exactly. Because right. yep. they're still She's talking. She's full of shit. Yeah. Devon's supposed to be staying in the playroom. Do you mm. like how Brianna was like, make sure you f- make sure she's fed. Right. Make sure she's fed. Uh-huh. Like a dog. Honestly, <laughs> Devon, would I trust him to feed my child? Not particularly. But Brittany will be there. And Brittany said that it's fine that Devon stays in the playroom. <laughs> 
because he recently made her some fried chicken. Right. Oh. oh. And you know what? Yeah. Brittany's the only one that has logic in this whole I'd family. Lo- yeah. I'd let him stay in my playroom with some fried Brittany chicken. Brittany fucking cracks me up. I love she her. She's so honest with she. I mean, she's I great. also enjoy fried chicken. Devon, if you're listening, you can stay yeah. here. Yeah. I almost feel like she's too real for MTV. She is though. She you is know? too real for she MTV. She pulls down that that curtain every once in a while. I love it. It's great. Right. Yeah. It's great. She said that that uh, Brianna should have been friends with Kale to get the info. Yeah. yeah. That was so smart. Yeah, she should have. Like, that's yeah. what any smart girl would have done. Yeah. I prefer Britney over Brianna any day. I wish mm-hmm. that Britney, uh, Brianna wasn't even on and mm. it was Britney. I love her. Yeah, I wish Britney kept her baby and got the TV show and Brianna, like, kaput. That's true. See, I gotta say, like, yeah. as someone who has loved Teen Mom for so long and uh, as also, like, a black person, mm. I was like, I can't believe we don't have a person of color on Teen Mom. Totally. Like, the it's statistics true. don't true. even add up right. that this could be a plausible representation sure. for the average Teen Mom. Well, not, really to say, not to say that there is only one. Obviously, right. it's a yeah. multitude. It ha- sure. Babies happen all the time. But it just, after, like, so many seasons, yeah. I remember being like this is crazy like what you couldn't get one you know listen and I then we got brianna right but and then we got her sister sure. and then we got her mom and then i was like oh no take this off <laughs> right right oh no just kidding just kidding, oh, just no. kidding. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you know because, okay so i was i gotta tell you i feel the same way and i was a little bit more refreshed with young and pregnant because oh, it's totally. like yes. this is like a more uh diverse you know, group diverse group mm, of people yep. like in the country but i gotta tell you that the reason and i'm not gonna defend mtv but i am mm. gonna defend them a little bit here i think that the angle that mtv TV was going was there's nothing trashier than white trash. Oh my god, it's true. It, I, I never feel like entitled to say that when people ask do me it. why I like the show. Do it. But in do my it. mind, I'm like, when do you ever see babies making babies yep. and they're just a combination of horrible white trash? Uh, listen, when do you ever see that? There and when do they freely show yep. it? You know, like Besides not Maury. just yeah. a yeah. person and their kid, but a person and their kid and their parents, and you get to see the whole trash line. Yes. Yep. Like to me, it's I don't, I don't know if I'll ever stop watching there's it. There's nothing but better. Yeah. The thing is, there's a stigma I agree with that. about like, oh, you know, these um you know, uh, black girls always have babies when they're 17, 16, whatever. Totally. But it's like, no, look at all these white girls. They do the same all thing. Oh, and they do it a lot worse. They do they it a do lot it way worse. worse. <laughs> these teen moms are now a double teen mom. Or yeah. Oh, triple yeah. Teen have you ever mom. watched? Yeah. Like, um, they're not even learning. Yeah. yeah. So Unexpected on TLC. Have you ever watched that? Yes. So yeah. Unexpected, the, the greatest part about Unexpected for me was, is that every single teen mom was f- about 15 mm-hmm. and their mom was about 30 and their grandmother was about 45. Yes. yes. And I was like, that is such a beautiful formula. Yeah. <laughs> for, like your grandmother is 45 yeah. and, and at 45, you are a great grandmother. And all three of them are sitting around in front of the camera like, we don't know how this happened. I don't know. <laughs> we, had, we had talked to her. We had told her about that boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't educate. You, none of y'all read books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the mother cries and goes, I didn't want the same thing for mm-hmm. my daughter. Mm-hmm. And the grandma cries and says the same thing. I didn't thing. want the same thing for right. my granddaughter and my daughter. And yeah. then the baby's just crying. Yeah. Isn't it amazing, though, that the grandma's going to be a great, great grandma at 60? Yeah. 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 I mean, listen, I guess it's living your best life because, I mean, you really do get to see the whole fam get family. Born. I think it's pretty crazy that there are four <laughs> women right here and none of us have children. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. now, I think hey, we're killing it. I think we're doing so I well. I love it. Oh, I, I thought you meant we're killing it because I did that one time. <laughs> 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 but that's for another show. Right. <laughs> that's, that's more for the Patreon. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think that um, we're winning in life. We yeah. just were very um, yeah. free. Yeah. And, and, I like, and fertile. I like <laughs> that um, Brianna was talking about like the podcast more and, and just putting it out there and like saying it like, hey, he did that podcast and it's terrible. Okay. I like, ag- I agreed with her. Though. I agree. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. been more. The last in three episodes. She's, she's been way been, more likable. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah, when you go through a breakup, like, could you imagine? I mean, and you it can imagine because we're comics and there are these outlets like comics break up. Right. There, yeah. There's like comedian relationships. And as soon as they break up. Yeah. They will tell all on a podcast. Oh, yeah. And it's totally. like, hey, why don't you just give it a second? You might want to bang him again. I would have a nervous breakdown. And that also, also like, it is a big high school at the end of the day. So yeah. it's like yeah. sitting down and putting something ugly on tape 
it exists. That will never go away. Yeah, it's not it's not going to go away and you're not going to be able to say, well, I meant whatever, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. if you actually cared about that person at some point in time, maybe you could wait to spill the beans until you're totally sure right. that they hate you. Yeah, You know? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Just wait until, because, I mean, how many times you break up, you get back together the next day. You're like, just kidding. Because even Javi was like, oh, well, if we get back together. Yeah. And, like, he you, was already you saying you it on the episode. Podcast. You just you did a podcast about her. Yeah. The minute that you broke up with her, mm-hmm. you went to your ex-wife's house. Uh-huh. The seller. Yeah. Like the minute yep. you, with a shit eating grin, mm-hmm. was like, come in the other room. I have gossip. And he I'm going like, to have sex with you. He was like, I got to talk to somebody. I got to talk to right. somebody. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to be you. And I'm going to tell you everything, yeah. all these gory details. Yep. And then I'd also like to ask you if I could tell the whole world. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But then he kind of clammed up on the podcast. A yeah. Little. Which surprised me. It didn't surprise me because the problem with her podcast, because I really be paying attention, is that Kale wants to bring the veil down all the time. Right. Kale's like, here's, here's how true. I. It really is. I don't care. The cameras aren't here, so now we can be whatever. And then she sits down, Javi or Leah, and expects them to also pull down the sure, veil. and they don't. And want they're it. like, "Oh, but my rent. I right. don't have. Yep. I don't know how to. You know, like to them, they're not as brave as she is, right? Yeah. Because they don't want to pretend like mm-hmm. everything is like they're not really willing. He was not willing to sit there and be like, "Yeah, I should have never been with Brianna. She's a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Like he, even if he really Kaylin felt wanted that, to you know? hear that though. Oh, totally. Yeah, but yeah. then why do you ask to go on the podcast? I would have been pissed too. I think that I could relate in that situation more with Kale. Yeah. Um, Don't come on unless you're willing to talk about sure, it. Sure, and Absolutely. you're used to being in front of the cameras. You're not a lay person. You're not a fucking civilian. But that's going right. to consistently happen on that podcast when she keeps having people on because they're not ready to be as real as she is being. Sure. Well, even Leah and Jeremy. L- Leah was no, no, That was absolutely. such bullshit. I'm telling you, it's Jeremy's keep like, happening. what? I can't hear you. Mm-hmm. What the baby? And it's like, as soon as they call called, in? as soon as they called, you could see Leah going, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Right. This is going to happen. And right. it's happening. And it's happening. You know, it's it was awkward. stupid, though. It was awkward. It, the, yeah, the podcast was so awkward. Well, a little bit uh, going back to Brianna and Javi. Javi. Uh, she said that he was upset that someone else is going to be wiping her ass. Yeah. But why are we competing for the shit? Right. But you I know, think it speaks to him like just being one of those guys that's like, ah, I did tell her I would do that. You know, like I don't even think it really matters what the thing is. That's I think true. it just bothers him. Like he's one of those guys that doesn't want people to have a one up on him. Like, I understand so that, but at true. the same time, I do it and then I didn't. Now she's going to hold right. it. Now. Like, could you imagine? I don't know. Maybe my self-esteem is low, but I couldn't imagine men fighting to wipe my ass. No. Like, like to literally wipe my ass. There's one person like, in the world will that would, I would ever let wipe my ass. I would wipe your you. ass. I would wipe your You're ass. the only person I would ever let wipe my ass. I would ass. let you wipe my ass. So many I'm people getting, would wipe my ass. Yeah, no, I, it's not. But I'm talking about tech, like literal. If they, if they knew, if they knew, like I really needed help with my ass, right? Yeah, a lot of people would want. But help. would you call yeah. your ex to come do it? And then would they? But would you let it? your your best friend's boyfriend wipe your ass? Probably not. Right. Uh, I would like, not want Tracy's how boyfriend. How much my, my best friend's ex boyfriend? Ah. Uh? Ah. Ooh. Ooh. That's deep. Because then you might not run into that, that guy again. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Sure, I would like done. to have a stranger wipe my ass. It ex- seemed like Trace, um, Tracy. It seemed like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like she didn't even know like about Dre. Okay, but I don't she even like to. Like Shirley was like, oh, da da da. Oh, on TV. You guys. Um. I don't even like to poop if my boyfriend's home. I mean, I'll poop on the floor in front of my Oh, I don't, I don't care. care. I'll poop. I'll yeah. just, you know, wait a while before I come out. Right. So there is, I mean, and then you're, I don't know, like we're competing. I don't care. He's literally competing. It's not a figurative thing like wiping your ass. Like he's going. But why can't she understand. wipe her ass? She's not getting arm surgery. Because well, her ass is going to be so big. And she's going to be like, uh, you know, tubed up and bloody. Like, oh, she's yeah, no, it's her stomach. Oh, she oh that's like, true, her stomach. She, and her oh, boob. Right. She can't, like, twist she's around. Be, guys, she's I worked out. Uh, there's a, a comic, Jimmy Peoples. You know Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jimmy is a trainer, and he was training me here for a little while. Oh, and I, uh, we were just doing, like, very simple things, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, legless, all that kind of stuff. And the first time he came here, I couldn't even get on stage. You were paralyzed. Yeah. I was paralyzed. I yeah. was like. You called pe- me. People were looking at me in the street and I was like, I wonder if they know I'm disabled. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I couldn't get onto stage. I yeah. could not. I was. I did a show and I was like, excuse me, just give me a little boost. Bit. So I couldn't oh. imagine like having that. Sur- like I did a sit up. Yeah. And, and she's having the surgery. So I get up. Oh, yeah. my game. I couldn't walk. I, yeah. I wouldn't electively get any. Of I that. threw myself into my car because I couldn't uh, lower myself <laughs> to get in the car. So yeah. I threw myself head first yeah. in and then just figured it out. Uh, let's speaking of boring. Mm. Let's get to Chelsea. Oh. <laughs> so crazy thing that we learned in this episode. Uh, Kale's friend Becky teaches uh, Aubrey's gymnastics. 
<laughs> Kale's friend. Did you see the scene? The opening scene when Chelsea had Aubrey in gymnastics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The gymnastics instructor was a straight up dupe for Becky. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. She was. She, oh. I, I had to rewind it five times. I didn't even, even her. Beep. I'm like, do they just use the same people? Is this cast? Is this <laughs> right? Is this fucking scripted? Yeah. Aubrey's so cute. Aubrey's adorable. She Watson is, is adorable. She's a lesbian in training. She is going to be mm-hmm. a lesbian. Yeah. I'm cool with it. There I'm should not say- be a lesbian. Do you guys do a Chelsea voice? Oh, do you do the it? Baby no, voice? I don't, but oh. I try it out. I would love um you we're we're gonna have baby Watson. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. That was that was good. It was, was a good try. I have to think about it. Try. Um, try. Chelsea. <laughs> I like how Aubrey's like, "Hey, buddy." I love yeah. Aubrey. Aubrey she, is hilarious. She's so yeah. cute. She's funny. She's an adult. Mm-hmm. That's why she's funny. Yeah. They're always like, "How do you feel about this crazy thing that we're about to do with our lives?" And it's so, "How do you feel about it?" And she's like, "Okay, yeah, yeah." All oh, right. but when she when Chelsea was talking about how like she's like, "I was so worried," and I asked her how she felt that Adam wasn't going to go to the dance, and she's like, "I don't even think about it." Yeah. Right. I was like, "Hell yeah!" Girl. That's like right? she's goals. a strong Woo. woman. That's goals. She is a strong, independent mm-hmm. woman, and she is going to make someone a beautiful wife one day. Uh, and by someone, I mean uh, another lady, Becky's child. Mm. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Good for her. <laughs> I wish that I had uh, I don't know I've been really like on a man hating spree lately like after this whole Me Too movement and all of these things like I have been uh, my eyes have been open to so much behavior from men that like we just don't get from women yeah agreed 100% we just don't get it and you know people say like well women could be predators too and it's like they're usually not though yeah they're just usually not Uh, it's just a fact women are women are crazy because of men yeah. yeah, women, like, I think that if you uh, went to, like, a women's jail and then went to a men's jail, it's, like, the the crimes are very different. Different, yeah. different, sure. different. And I have been on, like, this little man-hating thing. Mm-hmm. And I got to tell you, I'm like, I wish I could be a lesbian. Like, Me that would too. be a nice part of my life. Yeah. Uh, so I'm working on it. Um, if Matt and I ever break up, I'm dating a woman. Yeah. The end. I'm, I've, I've never felt like this before. Gabrielle made a comment. To, I made a comment to Gabrielle. Uh, we did um, a Keith and the Girl uh, po- Battle of the Podcast. Yes. Oh, okay. During Keith and the Girl weekend. Gabrielle was my partner. It was Team Mom Trash Talk. And we were talking about our outfits on the way there. And mm-hmm. she said, I, she said I, you know, I have a thumb ring on. <laughs> And oh. I said, oh, okay. I didn't know that you liked ladies, mm-hmm. but you know, I now, didn't know that was a thing. We know, and she know didn't know, thing. know that that was Did a you thing. Know that was no, a thing, Noel? Okay, no. Just you checking. didn't know that was a thing. Did no. you know that was a thing? Mm-mm. My well, brother's girl girlfriend wears thumb rings. And, and what did I tell you about your brother's girlfriend? She's a lesbian. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Kate. Sorry, Kate. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. Um, and Gabrielle said back to me because I was wearing purple lipstick. She said, "Well, purple lipstick means you're a lesbian." Ooh. And what did I tell you? I am a lesbian. I said, don't threaten oh. me with a good time. Right. <laughs> because here's the thing. Uh, if you've ever been in a long-term relationship, right? How mm-hmm. long have you been with your boyfriend? Um, two years. Two years. You with your fiance. Seven. You and George. About a year. Okay, yeah. cool. So you know that like when it comes down to it. Right. Is it really about sex? No. 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 It's about your companion. So you know, whatever. You have to have sex with a woman for a little while. Yeah. And then when... Lesbians don't have sex. They have sex like three times. Yeah. And so then they like, move in. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll do the sex like three times. Yeah. And then we can live together forever and you can be right. my best friend in the whole wide world. Right, yeah. And we can be partners in life. We can even adopt a kid together. Yeah. Two moms. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. please. That's yeah, no, I totally agree with you on that. I will do the sex a couple of times to live with a cool lady. Oh, so my best friend, like Noelle. Yeah whatever mm-hmm. Gabrielle Blind, like, blindfold me it's fine That's, but even yeah. blindfold who cares you yeah. so much fun if we what's were so married? gross about a woman anyway no there's nothing gross about a woman I'm saying I, you there's so much, I mean come no, but on I'm just how saying, are we like, gonna bone no of oh, course you know? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe we could just have one of those sexless marriages right. like uh, you know what it's called it's called marriage yeah. right, <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. It's a I don't I, but I, I hear lesbians don't have sex is that a thing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm looking I don't, at know. I don't they, know. They have sex like for like in the beginning and then they move in after one date. We right. Have to, well, we I have know that. I love that. The U-Haul. The U-Haul. The U-Haul. With our I do know they, they like to right. cohabitate quick. Yes. Yeah. The U-Haul on the first date. They like to like take care of each other and you know. Oh just yeah. Good Sorry. Team. That sounds amazing. I know. Yeah, you know what sucks good, is good you're, team building. you're going to be PMSing at the same time as someone I don't get my period. I haven't got my period You don't need birth control when you're dating a woman. Yes you do. I need birth control for my ovaries. I have a cyst. I'm tired of telling you I couldn't imagine. I mean it would really suck. So 
to be in a relationship with someone I have to PMS with at the same time. Just That's the only control. thing that would Gabrielle talk. made a really good point. Uh, we do have a resident lesbian. She's not here, but Joanna. she's on our team. Her name oh, is Joanna yeah. Ragone. Uh, she's a really good friend of ours. Really big fan of the podcast and a big fan of Teen Mom. And she usually uh, helps us. So, Joanna, if you could just jump into the group and let us know uh, more about being a lesbian. Yeah. Harry. Teach us. And their, uh, and their habitat. So real quick, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and their habitation skills, uh, their habits, their habitation habits. So Joanna came out to my show. I have a show. I don't know if you guys know, but I have a show every mm-hmm. fourth Saturday of the month at QED in Astoria, Queens, New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's called Hashtag Comedy. And I had two months ago, or was it last? I think it was last month. I had someone sit up front. Right. And this woman just had the, the face of, of a bitch, right? You mm-hmm. just wanted to kick her right in the face. And she sat right <laughs> next to the stage mm-hmm. and she heckled and she was absolutely obnoxious and miserable. Yeah. And she made a lot of really nasty comments Ew. to me. I asked the club to kick them out. Um, really? And really? They, uh, they said yes and then they just didn't. Okay. So she stayed the whole show. Joanna, the, our resident lesbian, mm-hmm. uh, showed up to the show, thank God, right. uh, in a man's bathing suit. Uh, she pre-gamed a little bit I before her. Yeah. Uh, in some flip-flops and uh-huh. she came with a whole bunch of my friends and they said hey Joanna is walking down the block but we wouldn't let her walk with us because she wouldn't put on clothes mm. so uh-huh. uh, <laughs> Joanna came in uh, watch this woman just absolutely heckle me and just be very like inappropriate just Rude. a big down like just a downer on the whole show and after the show as the woman was walking out Joanna let me know she said Tracy I am drunk enough to fight yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I saw her post on Facebook about <laughs> it. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. yeah. So, Joanna, shout out to Joanna, who is in a man's bathing suit and flip flops, willing to fight a bitch for me. Yeah. Thank you, Joanna. Also, that's Joanna, friendship. I was sober enough to fight her. So, the thing is, that's what you <laughs> want to date. Ruined. That's a quality yes, woman. That was yep. great. Yeah. Lena, Lauren, Joanna. Yeah. Shout out to you guys that were willing to fight a bitch. Yeah. I think even Lauren was ready. Really? Yeah, wow. Lauren. Oh, she gets very. Lauren probably angry. sang opera at her. She, yeah, she. Stay <laughs> away. It was one of those crazy historian <laughs> nights. It was. It was nuts. So thank you guys so much for being <laughs> fans of the podcast, for being fans of me, m- most of all. Oh, oh yeah. actually, oh, oh, also okay. my friends, okay. my friends that I grew up with. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Um. So back to Chelsea. That was so cute. That was cute, but it's I also it was like cute every year this is the only thing that we That's the thing. On. I mean, listen, it's really cute. He got her that unicorn and the flowers. Like, okay. I think but Adam forfeited. I think he like... No, he but like why did he have a court Aubrey order court. that he couldn't go to the father-daughter dance? He what couldn't. I don't think he could be around Aubrey. No, he could be around Aubrey. I think that it's just basically um, on visitation days and when they agree to it. Yeah, and they have to have like a chaperone. Right. right. Yeah. It has to... And it was at the visitation center. It's like yeah. put in Listen, for it's it. It's cool that Cole did it, but it's just every year he does it. And it's like, all right, what else you got for me? Right, like, okay, right. so Cole is her dad now. We get right. it. Right. Yeah. We got it. It's you sad. It's like their it family unit is getting more and more, like, complete. And it's making their uh, episodes worse. Oh. For she has you know what? Sure. No she has family no is perfect. And if she could just show a little bit more of that, mm-hmm. I would be receptive to it. And I think everybody else would be. But now it's like, okay, everything's perfect all the time. Great. But see, even way back in the day, see, this is why when I first started watching the show, I was like, oh, but we need a black team mom. We need a black team mom. Because I remember watching her dad right. help her incessantly. Yes. Yeah. Like, to such, a, such I an mean, incredible. I mean, no one else's dad no. did that. To no. such an incredible degree that I was like, Obviously, he's doing it out of love. I was like, Chelsea's lucky. Yeah. She has yeah. a father yeah. that's mm-hmm. not going to let this, you know, baby that she's having with this crappy guy yeah. Yeah. really take her down a hole. And it's incredible because she's been able to, you know, build herself back up. And she I'm, really you know, has. I'm not even downplaying like her individual work. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, you were always destined to be fine. Yeah. Yes. Whether you yes. met Cole whatever you had a right guy. like even if you were single right mm-hmm. now even fine. if you had three fine. other kids with three other fathers had, she, right. had a, she had a system in place that was not going to let her fall and Absolutely. so that's why she's like well i can't even really be that controversial because look my dad is here right i mean even that's her true. parents are divorced her dad is remarried yeah. and then her mom is with someone i think and like everyone's friends exactly. apparently cool. she's got like three sisters yeah. and like two other of them were teen moms right and, and everyone's oh, wow. fine yeah everyone's mm. fine I'm yeah sure. um so they are going to talk about now. Uh, Chelsea's friend is over Chelsea with yes. a Y, and they're chatting. Chelsea with a Y is getting to look more and more like a producer every day. Yeah, she looks like a little bit like um like a what do they call it? a teamster? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
if you know what I mean, Joanna. Uh, <laughs> so they're they're actually chatting, and they're gonna, now they're going to talk. They're going to get they're going to dive into the Adam business, uh-huh. and they send Aubrey off into a dark room behind a barn door. Right. What? That's oh. her playroom. Can we put the lights on? Put a light on. <laughs> There's a bunch of ducks. Yeah. Like birds or something. We, it's it's just like everything. It's like Cole's hunting room slash Aubrey's playroom. I don't yeah. understand that house. It's very weird. So yeah. someone had posted. I their, looked at their, it. Their, I took yeah. it down. Oh, the real estate listing. I mean, yeah. it's so easy to just find. I, yeah, no, I took addresses. it down because I got like 10 messages about it. And people are like, she's going to get stalked. She's going to get stalked. She's going to get stalked. This girl is like, oh, I work for the police department and I could admin your page if you want. And it's like, but because what? somebody posted a picture of Chelsea's house. No, like, thank you. Come on. Anyway, you could find anyone's address. Yeah. There was an article. I went to the Hamptons two weekends ago. Not a big deal. And mm. um, there was an <laughs> article because I was out on Meadow Lane in Southampton. You made the best muffins. There's very good muffins. That's in East Hamptons. Oh, I no, made, no, you oh, made, I made the muffins. I did make a, a good yeah. muffin. Um, so I was on Meadow Lane and there's an article on Curbed, which is like big in real estate. And it was about the Hamptons and it was all of the people that live on Meadow Lane and their addresses mm-hmm. and right. who they are and what they do for a living. Right. Mm-hmm. This was an article that was yeah, published. Yeah, that's a thing. So it's like, you don't have a lot of privacy. People always say that to me as well. And I'm like, you could just Google my name and it's just, sh- it's shitty, but. You could Google you know, anything. You can yeah. Google anything and it comes right up. But uh, we looked at the layout of her house. Right. I don't know. Kind of unimpressive for teen mom money. It also, is unimpressive. She lives in South Dakota. Oh my God. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. No. Yeah. That house when she first got it, I was like, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. She could I mean, like be living in a mansion. Okay. Right she now. decided a long time ago, I'm going to be in the middle of nowhere with this guy. We're going to be super not on in touch weekly. Okay, but guess what? Get a bigger then get kitchen. A better ki- get a bigger kitchen. Yeah. If you're going to be in the house that much, <laughs> you're going to have gonna that make, many kids. You're going to have that many box cake, you're, you're yeah. cupcakes. You're done You're done. You're like this house. Come on. This Who, who would buy that house and not mm. renovate the kitchen? I get mean, a better house. Yeah. She, didn't do she doesn't need the house. dining room. Turn that into one big kitchen. No, she needs that the dining room because that's where she's going to hang all her antlers. Oh, mm. I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Cole, listen, I mean, to, to tell you how boring they are. Right. One of my notes is Cole got a haircut. Cole danced. Blah. Blah. Yeah. That's what happened. They came in afterwards, like, I guess, with, like, Sonic. Yeah. And it was cute. I mean, listen. They had a Aubrey date. Aubrey was really fun. happy. You guys remember that one episode where they kind of had a tiff in the car? Oh, it gave yes. me life. It, but it was barely yeah. even a but thing. Yeah. But it, we were like, oh, my God. It was such a tiny thing. Yeah. And you could even see her throughout it kind of glance at the camera right yeah. like oh, right. we shouldn't do this right now but i am a little frustrated <laughs> oh excuse <laughs> me honestly they, if they filmed my house or your house oh, they would have it. so much more material i smashed i mean things. i'd be in jail I oh my god imagine yeah. my house your house we'd, we'd all be in jail we'd Matt all be in dodged jail. a remote at his face the other day right at his <laughs> face right at his face he ducked real quick one time uh at my mom's house i got in a fight with my brother and he called me something that rhymes with uh bunt and <laughs> <laughs> this is a clean podcast it was on yeah now all we, of a don't sudden, talk, we don't talk about all of cakes. a sudden it was on christmas day <laughs> and uh he <laughs> called me this word and i i hit him so hard with the remote like you know when you hit someone because you want to kill him <laughs> 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 not just because you want to be like snap it to no, you want to kill him I wanted him to die, and I don't know why I chose the elbow to hit him. <laughs> and I did it so hard that his elbow still hurts. That was years ago. Oh, my God. That was like seven years ago now. Uh-huh. He's like, my elbow still hurts. I chipped a bone in his oh, elbow. Oh, you're, you're terrifying. He's, it was a Time he's Warner funny. cable remote. He we saw funny. him the other day. Yeah. So he was very happy. <laughs> me and Noel ran into my brother. Uh, he was at the bank mm-hmm. paying a bill or something. I don't know. Hi, guys. Who, yeah. And he, <laughs> no, Gabrielle, you would have died. He <laughs> saw us. We pulled up to the bank, right? He didn't know we were coming. My mother, I had... All right. Long story short, me and Noel went to Trader Joe's. My mother needed some Parmesan cheese. Uh-huh. And I told her I was going to come and bring it to her. And she said, well, your brother's at the bank right now. If you could find him at the bank, give it to him and he'll bring it home to me. OK. So me and Noel pull up to TD Bank and my brother is the only person in there. <laughs> and it's like he felt us pull up uh-huh. <laughs> and he turned around as he was at the counter <laughs> doing his banking. And he looked into Noel's eyes and started dancing. Dancing. He started dancing. No, yeah. he, he did. No, what he started dancing? dancing. We go back a long okay, time. Okay, so you guys can't see the dance because this is a podcast, but no, I'll maybe do the dance. Well, what kind of dancing? No. Um, it was like, 
like a giddy dance. Like, and oh, then like he's, he's like, and then his hands are up, you know, nay nay. He was it like, was, I thought it was gonna be a regular bank day, right? But you in here? Then he comes outside and he opens the car door and he's like, "Get out here and hug me." <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, no, Tone loves yeah. me. And yeah, he's you like, gotta I be haven't careful. seen you in so long. Congratulations on the engagement. And then he's like, "Look oh. at my but new was he tattoos." Talking in baby voice. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And then he, I yeah. Then he's like, "Look at my so new tattoos. I just got a Newport sign tattooed on my finger." Yeah, and that's oh, when I realized we might be soulmates. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, classy uh-huh. is not the word. Classy. Also, and Noel. Also, uh-huh. Tracy's brother talks in like a Mickey Mouse voice. Yeah. He does, but you can't be upset around him. Yeah. Like he's just like, "Hi, how are you? Oh my god, I love you." Yeah. You know, like he's yeah. just so silly. So we we ran into him uh, at the bank, and it made me giggle like all day for sure. Yeah. Where? How did we even get on that? I don't even remember. I don't know. Oh, oh you were, you were, you had hit him. Oh, I hit him with the remote. Oh, oh, so yeah. sorry. So well, sorry about that. he was bad when he was younger. He, yeah. yeah. I mean, he wasn't that young. He was like 30 when <laughs> I did that. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of domestic abuse, let's talk about Leah. <laughs> That's kind of another yawn, though. Yeah. I mean, okay. So, uh, Jeremy and Leah are throwing Addie's birthday together at the Sky Zone. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the Sky Zone. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so what? it's like bounce. It's like bounce. They have yeah, one on yeah. Long Island. Okay. And it's just basically a big trampoline. Yeah. I've been oh, to one okay. before. How did you feel about it when you went? Uh, I thought it was fun. I wish I would have worn a tighter bra. Okay. Yeah. Uh, totally. Yeah. Uh, so I felt like I kind of had to jump in the corner. Right. With the kids <laughs> to see. Just privately. But uh, <laughs> it was fun. I, I went there with a really cute guy. It was Ooh, fun. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds fun. It's a little, little sexy bounce. We were sweating. You know? Uh, I, mean, I love that. I love to take a guy somewhere and do something that makes you like sweat a little. Not a lot. A little. I could just even like just you just hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. I'm sweating right now. I'm doing <laughs> I am so cold right now. I'm oh, freezing I'm cold. Chilling. Really? Yeah, I'm you chilling. guys, there's something wrong with you. So uh, something wrong with us. I'll tell you what bothered me about Sky Zone. What? So many people. Really? It was oh. so crowded. Not in real life. In oh, the, yeah, that gave oh, me yeah, anxiety. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh how like like they didn't rent it out. Like they everyone should've. in West Virginia was at the Sky Zone. Yeah, it gave bouncing. Me, how do you watch Sky all those kids? Is probably really popular. It's probably the only. <laughs> thing. It's probably the only. But thing. how do you watch all the kids in one spot? I don't know. It made me anxious. It was. It, I totally agree with you. It Does was anybody so many like people. was anybody secretly hoping that her and Jeremy would get back together? I no. was. Oh, I, was. I was. I wanted it. Oh, I yeah. thought I thought you guys were going to be extremely opposition to it. But yeah, no, I, I wanted, wanted it. I, wanted I, it. I was like, yeah, adorable. do it. Yeah, do it. I was like, whatever. He fucking likes you. And Addie is my favorite baby. I don't uh, care what nobody yeah. says. That's She's the best teen when, yeah. mom baby. When she lifted her cup and swung it in the air as if to say, give me more soda. That's Gabrielle. With her tiara. That's Gabrielle. That killed me. Yeah. Because that's that, you. You related to that. Remember yeah, when she called Jeremy and was like, can we go to Walmart? I was like, that's this girl, mm-hmm. she's, she knows uh, what she wants. Walmart. She knows what. I love her. I, I think she's the best baby. Yeah. She's and hilarious. And I rank the babies. Oh, she's we all the best baby. No, she is. She is. Her, uh, so I, I would say that right now it's Addie, Lincoln, and Isaac. Those are my faves. Lincoln yes, is definitely. the love of my Lincoln, life. my God. Yeah. That face. Lincoln and Addie are my faves. Yeah. Like by, by far. Isaac is just such a sweet boy. Isaac's mm-hmm. super sweet, yeah. but Lincoln's silly. Yeah. Lincoln is cool. Like I need him. I would have him as a child. Yeah. yeah. If I had a child like him, sure. I would Maybe bring you him everywhere. Him. I don't know. Yeah. She's pretty attached to him though. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. she can keep Lux. I mean, she's got a good lawyer. I think Lux is adorable. I don't. A lot of people don't seem to think that baby is that cute. Do you like Lux? I, I don't understand how you could look at a baby or most babies and be like, this baby has no potential. <laughs> you know? Oh, no. <laughs> like, I've we're literally. No, I, I just think feel like babies are in a, such a transitioning state all the time. Tracy that, that I'm always like, Tracy give it a minute. Us. I'm like, no, give no, it no, a minute. No, no, if you have a bad baby, I'm going to screenshot it. And you take it out to the group text. And you're going to point out things. Yo, look at this ugly ass baby. She'll be like, look at his fucking eyebrows. And it's like, he's one. Okay, but also, I think Lux is fucking cute. I think that he's black kale yeah totally he has kale's face totally. i think he's so ugly that uh, he is cute yeah i think he's adorable. i think he's so ugly he's cute i, uh, I think yeah. he's cute but i think in like a year he's gonna be way cuter okay, okay. let's see yeah, what happens agreed. he has to develop he has like a man face let's see what happens i face. just like when she does his hair in a bun i think that's adorable. That is so yeah. cute. he's like a little she baby makes, man. i tell you she makes that whole like having a crazy drama filled life chaos she makes it look easy bunch of baby daddies she makes it look like it's fulfilling yeah, yeah. and that bothers me <laughs> no i know i know <laughs> sometimes I know. i'm like watching her like walk around the house like feed the dog and pick up this <laughs> shit and pick up this baby and i'm always like but I, all these she decisions no, but yeah. she all these decisions. first of all she loves really being a mother yes yeah, she does, that's oh, yeah. does. you could she tell loves that's it. like her life that's her favorite yeah. job that she's ever had yeah yes. i want to feel that way <laughs> you no, know, but I don't. We all. <laughs> but I'm gonna feel we that way about wish. your child. You're gonna feel that way about my child. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm That's gonna fine. come visit at Gabrielle's house. 
Maybe. That's <laughs> I'll, keep, not. I'll keep. Uh, a I'll keep him <laughs> or her in my guinea pig cage. I mean, that's fine. I just. I only <laughs> want to have boys. What? I, I only want to have boys. Well, that's racist. Yeah. But I did wish. That's that, not um, racist. It's, it's sexist. Mm, yeah, sexist. I had wished secretly that Chris would have done like one episode. Yeah, me too. Okay. One episode. We're get one that. episode so that he's not a silhouette. Yes. yes. So that we know who he is. And also just because like it's su- it's such a big plot point. Right. Like also, Chris, what are you doing in your life that you I can't know, be on give me one a break. episode? You have a trap house that uses pictures of Lux. Do you know how much they probably would have paid him for one episode? Chris, right. are you killing it? Because right. you're not really helping what, what with the baby th- that much. <laughs> is so. it working? I, it seems like he was struggling to help yeah. him for a no, while. He it seems like just recently bus. he started getting it together. So I'm like, maybe you could be on a few episodes. And that's you apparently could like the love of her life. Yes. That's why I need to know about him. So the love of her life? You think so? That's no, what she, she said. said. She said in an interview. She said he that's said the only man that she's Even ever though loved. she's been married and she's had two kids with two different people, yeah. the first real heartbreak she had was Chris. Yeah, she like never the had love Well, like the other that. ones didn't leave while you were pregnant. So it probably did hurt a little it's more. true. Yeah. That's a good point. That is true. The other ones she just, a bit listen, more. she was with Joe because she was young. Right. Yeah. She was with Javi because she didn't want to be alone. And it's like benefit. Yeah. Oh, but every single time I see Joe and watch how he is aging, it heals me in so many ways. Because remember, he used to talk to her so fucking crazy. Yes. Uh, when she first had that baby, I was like, this motherfucker and his parents. Yeah. yeah. I was like, this you motherfucker You should go live in a cave, wild. right? Yeah, I was you like, belong in a cave. <laughs> you shouldn't see the sunlight. I was like, this is oh, wow. And every time you see him now, he's... Oh, he looks worse and worse and worse. He, and d- he's a, listen, he does. If you're going to talk about physical, yeah, Joe's gross. But yeah. he's scored, man. V is hot. He's super hot. And he's really nice now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's he totally is. nice. Yeah. And he's, he's, silly. Realized, he's realized, like, I shouldn't I be enemies matured. with any of these people. Yeah. I'm lucky I got one yep. that stuck by me. Ooh, that's know? a really yeah. interesting True. opinion. Yeah. I like that. Uh, so Addie gets a hoverboard, which is adorable. Mm-hmm. Hot. Um, so now Kale goes to Leah's hotel room. They all have. Why did they have to fly to Atlanta I don't to know. do the podcast? Odd. Because I don't, I don't know. know if you remember. Oh yeah, why did they but do that? Last episode, uh, they were Javi, just at her Well, that's house. where Lindsay lives. Yeah, I understand that. But Lindsay, yeah, but just Lindsay wasn't in. there last time. I don't for know. She just called in. I thought that was really weird. So well, now they wanted to do a photo shoot, I guess. Right. So They're very busy. They have Teen Mom business things to do, and they have to fly places. It was yeah. <laughs> here's the thing. It was really weird because uh, she was like, hey, yeah, so just bring like uh, one or two outfits that you like because we're going to do a photo shoot too. So Kale goes to Leah's room and she's like, does it smell like nail polish in here? Were you painting your nails? It smells like nail polish. Now, everyone is Blew saying up. that uh, when you cook meth, it smells like acetone. Give me a oh, I was thinking of another drug, but okay. Yeah. So they're thinking that they're like, maybe uh, Leah was making meth in the... In yeah, I'm sure that's like, what she was doing. She had her well, own like, science lab. No, I, now I if, she, if she had some lines that she was doing, I'd be like, all right. But right, I think but it's but way but more. Cooking meth? Right. Yes. Cooking meth is. The type of constraints no. that you need to. Like, <laughs> who, who, what, did she check the meth ingredients? Right. Did she bring them right. to Atlanta? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Was it 500 packs on? of Sudafed? Did she have a, sh- a meth? She stopped at a meth. Right? Like, you just make people lives were in West really Virginia. No, people are reaching. People were it's reaching. really, really annoying. It's like a witch hunt a yeah. lot with these people. Come on. So she's sitting with Kayla and they're talking and she's like, you know, we're going to go to uh, Hawaii, which was totally like a stage conversation right. that kind of annoyed me because she's was like, hey, awkward, do you, yeah. hey, do you want to go to my uh, to Hawaii next week? And she's like, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, okay. So that's it. We, right. do, we don't have to figure out where to put the kids. We're, right. just, no. we're just like, okay. We're just preparing wants to, the film that scene. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> yeah. An, that's annoying to me. Leah wants a Lou house. So, so that's the whole thing. So she's huh. sitting there and she's like, uh, you know, uh, Caitlin's like, yeah, we're gonna go skydiving. We're gonna go snorkeling. We're gonna fucking jump from a plane. Whatever. Right. And she's like, yeah, but I really want to go to a luau. And no. Kale's like, I'm sorry, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Yeah. And she's like, oh, just like a luau. You know. And she's like, I don't know what that means. She's like with the grass and the. And she's like, do you mean a luau? Right. And she's like, do you mean a luau? Just keep saying it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> um so now she confesses that her and jeremy hooked up kaylin confesses that her and javi hooked up we know kale you want to tell yeah. us all the i time. know like I, it's this crazy thing where kale's always like i don't give a fuck like i don't care i dropped him i dropped right. him i was with him and then you know whatever and i'm like no you totally care yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it, it really heals something within you anytime Javi calls you yeah. or yeah. shows up or shows you affection. You 100%. love that shit. Yeah. And I'm not even saying it's a bad thing. Like no, you used to, she had, had, you used she to actually like this guy. She said it here because she wanted everyone to know that she hooked up with him after 
after Brianna. But also, doesn't Javi live with like 12 people? Why did she have to go I don't there? know. We're going to get okay. there because we're going to talk about Kim. She yeah. went to his house and hooked up with him? She went to his house to babysit Lincoln. Yeah. Oh. Which I thought was weird. So wait, yeah. we're going we're gonna to get there. Um, Leah makes the weirdest faces with her lips. Have you yeah. noticed this when they do her makeup? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She makes these. Cre- it's very creepy to me. She's weird. She's she weird. is a little off. Yeah, she is. I, you She's know, off, fa- man. You know, weird face. Let's not, let's not, move on to like regular. straight up kale now. Okay. Um. So she said that things with Javi are better. So she's gonna go to Javi's house right. and watch Lincoln while he goes to the gym, which is kind of strange because Javi lives with like his mom, mm-hmm. his dad, his mom's friend. I don't know his really. sister, his, his sister's family. Right. A lot of people. You're so right. it's like. Kale's going there like it's his bachelor pad. Right. And it's just not. And all she does is like she's trying to engage with him. She wants the whole I was eye rolling did you, at the flirting so hard. Did you did you see this taco video that he likes? Mm-hmm. Did you do you have any snacks for him? Do you have any daddy has snacks? Let's go through his stuff. I want to go through his stuff. Oh my Shut goodness. Up, like, okay. Shut up. She was like, I'm winning him, Lincoln. Right. I yeah. won him, Lincoln. <laughs> Look at Lincoln. Me and, me and Daddy Lincoln. are getting back together. He'll always be mine, yeah. Lincoln. Even though you remember Brianna was your mom for one day? Right. <laughs> She's not anymore. <laughs> now, something that was crazy, when she was talking on the phone with Leah, and she was like, oh, my God, we're going to go on vacation without the kids. I haven't been on vacation since Lux was born. In a year. No. She said he's almost a year. Yeah. You haven't been on vacation in almost a year yeah you have three kids with three different men Uh uh-huh i haven't been on vacation Mm. like (laughs) i went i went in november Mm. before that i hadn't been on vacation in like 10 years i don't know the last time i was on vacation yeah that's a real thing she hasn't she with three children she hasn't been the kids like six months old that's real but wasn't she just in another episode where they were like in a hotel with a that Girl, boyish girl that she was dating. Like, didn't they go somewhere? Dom. I, yeah, I feel like oh, they yeah, go they somewhere. They drove home from I feel somewhere. like they go places. Oh, from the, that was just from oh, the fundraiser like a, in yeah. Jersey. Oh, where? Oh. Well, I don't know. You remember because Joe had the fundraiser for oh, Puerto yes, Rico. Right. But then yeah. I wasn't she on? She sells Sensi, right? She yeah. was on a Sensi cruise. Listen, too. guys, she goes on vacation. I think yeah. she's tripping. I think she, she goes on tripping. trips. I think she's weird. She's Here tripping. And there. Uh, so, so what happened to Dom? Dom's gone. Dom, they cut her out real quick. Daddy Dom, they broke up. Damn. Did yeah. she say that? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, in the gossip. It was not on the show. No, but on the show, it was weird. They just like. They kind of introduced Dom, but they didn't say anything. They never right. acknowledged her either they way. They teased it a little bit on that drive home. It was home. cute. It was cute. It, it was cute. And I was feeling it Dom. Was, it disappeared. Yeah. Dom is like my type of woman. But I mm-hmm. wanted Dom to like speak. I was like, Dom I has know. no dialogue. I know. No. And it's I, like, Dom, you're just shut up. Take well, care of the she kids. She just didn't add anything to the show. She didn't. She's yeah. very boring. That's what happened. So now they're at dinner. Uh, Leah looks super nice. Kaylin looks like shit for some reason. Right. They go out to dinner and Kale just keeps implying that she is going to masturbate. Yeah. Oh my God. Seriously. But she wouldn't stop. It Yawn. Was, was, I could do, like, do things. I could do I things. I could do things myself. I could take care of things myself. Alone. Know what I mean? Myself. Myself alone. And then MTV uh, at the takeaway funny. scene had yeah. the book and the book started vibrating. Right. We get it, guys. Durr. We get it. Um, Teen mom. <laughs> da, 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 da. I just also Kale. She got new caps on her teeth. Did, Did she? she? Yeah, I noticed that her teeth were like extra big and white. Oh, I did notice they were super white, but I thought she was whitening them. No, yeah. I think those are caps. Really? They were large. They were big, man. Yeah. They were fucking big. She's got cap money now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna uh, say that's not cheap. So now she talks about on the podcast, she's talking to Leah and she's saying, she's like, why you wouldn't go back to Jeremy just to have another kid. That was and it's so like, weird. Oh my God, you were definitely projecting here. I, but that's what I was saying. I was like, Kale's always trying to drop it to like really, really real. Like, mm-hmm. come on, you thought about it. And Kale's like, cause I've thought about it and I can admit it. And the other people are always like, no, I right. can't admit it. He was like, I have I so much lipstick on me that. now. I can't move my face. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> It was that was just so that awkward. That podcast was so uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, it was. It was. I Very was cringing. You know, like okay, Chanel, you were invited here to do the podcast today. Um, we did a little photo shoot before we had the hair and makeup people here. Yeah, uh, you looked fantastic. Thank by you. The way. It was uh, we went. Key. We went glam. Yeah. Uh huh. So that was good. You know, like when I invite you guys over to do the podcast at the studio, and then we have the whole team come. Yeah. And do, who the fuck is doing? Give me a break. Get over it. Get yeah. the fuck over it. Uh, mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna move on to Janelle. 
Oh, snap. Um, what the fuck is going on here? I actually thought it was really sweet that she, like, spent time alone with That Jace. was the only time I've ever liked Janelle. Yeah, me too. She was acting like a person. Because David wasn't there. Yeah. David wasn't she there. She acts like a person when David mm-hmm. isn't there. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I mean, over the years, in all of her relationships, she gets very caught up in the guy. Whatever That's all she whoever cares the about. guy is, she's, she's a like, chameleon. This is my life yep. now. Whatever this yep. guy says, and I think that really comes from like I'm about to really you know break it down. That comes from not feeling like she was really with her family, from mm-hmm. feeling like her mm-hmm. mom wasn't really on her team. So she she clutches in and she invested, and obviously she's married this guy, so now she's really really heavy in it. But what she didn't know is that you can't give a country bumpkin like that a Twitter. No, <laughs> that's what she didn't no. know. And that's the, where she fucked up. What's she, you're absolutely is, right. Because he's she knew that he had oh, those yeah. thoughts. She yeah. knew that he probably would right, say something she, stupid. She, she didn't know he was going to have an outlet him. like that one day. Yeah. And she but was like, oh, snap. They saw it. Suddenly, she's like, Miss NRA and Miss, you know yeah. what I mean? Miss anti everything. Meanwhile, she used to like bang girls. And it was and all she, about she, concerts. She's so different. Yeah. Yeah. And Kesha. Kesha. I, she was into working out with Nathan. Sure. And she just conforms to whoever she's with. I, I almost like felt bad for her because I feel like if she found a good guy, she might be yeah, because able she to be a good person. person. She doesn't right. even like that, though. She no. doesn't like, she doesn't good like guys. that. She would never be with a good I guy. I just wish she would find Come him. on. That's a crazy name. Why would you ever date a guy? Like <laughs> <that>? <laughs> okay, can I tell you something? <laughs> Kiefer is my favorite guy, but that name. Think about, right, but think about who she's been with. Kiefer was your favorite in terms of what? For her? Yeah. Come on. What? Nathan was my Kiefer, favorite. Kiefer like, just got out of jail like the other day. No, he Kiefer was jail. gross. Okay, she would yeah. still be on Nathan, he made Nathan was probably she would still be on heroin if she was with Kiefer. Nathan. Is so my was favorite. Kiefer getting checks back in the day? Yeah, like mm-hmm. tiny ones though, right? Yeah, probably but everything tiny. was tiny back in the yeah, day. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. This Damn. Was, this was you know season two. I just don't understand why you break up with. She a girl. was really mm-hmm. nice to checks. Jace. I mean, I think that the law broke up with. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the law kind of got in the way. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was they called spiraled. Uh, yeah it was they had a restraining order against each other. Uh, there was a no contact order. Remember? Yes. And yeah. She was like, I can't do this. I can't uh-huh. not smoke weed and not see yeah. Kiefer. Mm-hmm. And Bob's like, You're on drugs. You're your all on drugs. <laughs> your boyfriend. <laughs> You're doing drugs with your boy. I blame I blame Barb for a lot of these teen yes. mom issues. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just like not even just Janelle, like all the other girls too. We just blame Barb. <laughs> yes, Barb. We just blame Barb. <laughs> she fucking. I only had a glass of wine. Shut up. <laughs> I, listen, Shut I up. think growing up, Barb sucked. But I think Barb's okay now. She's, yeah, but I think that I mean, listen, a lot of people are like She's taking care that. of your kids. I don't know. So. After that reunion when she like cried on the side because she thought that they had taken Jace for a little bit. You remember that? Yes. And she cried and she called yeah. the cops. That day, I was like, oh, no. These cameras have infiltrated to a whole new level right. with Barb to where she can't even be real no more. Right. Like, she's be- become a teen mom. Because you know what? Yeah. Really... What what would happen if if Janelle took? I think she's really afraid back. of David, though. Yeah, I think, I think she's, she's legit. I think Barb afraid. is legit. Speaking of, of she knows he's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of blaming Barb for everything, uh, we get introduced to Colin oh. in this episode, and let's be a little bit careful about what we say. Colin does. A lot listen. of people didn't know that Colin existed. Right. I knew that Colin existed. Yeah. I had a little bit of interaction with Colin mm-hmm. myself. Um, what online on Facebook? Wow. Uh, Colin is uh, different developmentally challenged challenged right um and now he lives with barb and he's jace's father figure so the male (laughs) figure in jace's life (laughs) is colin right yeah it was really awkward right that was a very awkward no but it's it's because no it's because he is developmentally challenged okay so gabrielle let's Mm. just do a little reenactment (laughs) <laughs> of uh, I be Colin? you're gonna be Colin. oh yeah you're gonna you're be gonna Colin. Com- you're gonna commit uh, to this you gotta commit to this yeah bit. so um i'm gonna be barb and you're gonna be colin i think it's good that you've been staying here <laughs> i know i like when jace comes back sometimes he's really angry but then we sit and learn, we play video games and then he calmed down yeah i think it's good okay so many issues <laughs> do you remember when me and janelle buried that rat in the backyard I got some luggage for $8 if you want to change the subject quickly. <laughs> Do you remember when we shaved Janelle's head off and she acted like a boy? Sometimes when I was at Walmart, I used to cut cold cuts. I was out here taking care of her kid and she was out there banging all these guys. Kifa. Kifa. <laughs> End scene. 
<laughs> seen you with Kifa. It w- there was a lot of silence. It was it was a very but strange. The conversation. funniest part was Barb's Barb face. just ignoring everything when he, he was said. like, "Yeah, like when we buried really the rat in the backyard," and she looked at him with a little like, yeah. just took like, her head like she was like so was saying, slightly. "Like shut the fuck up with I her." I didn't like, like she was. Are you fucking kidding me? She right. was like, "Oh, I thought you could get through this whole conversation, yeah, she, but you I right, was aboard." Aboard. Ah. So what do you think happened before that scene was filmed? So I think that Barb was like, "Hey, Colin, listen. So here's the thing." We, we gotta need, say something. We need to get some money for you too, right? Mm. Nobody I, knows who you are. We can't just have some weird guy talking yeah, slow right. walking around. So we gotta, what? We, we need gotta to get, address it. Yeah, we gotta get we we gotta get you some money. I'm gonna take that money, right? But anyway, don't say anything. I'm gonna talk to you. Just say yes. Just say no. <laughs> just don't talk, say. Just talk, wash the dishes. We're gonna talk about Jace, right? I want <laughs> you to focus on washing the dishes. Can you do that? Can no. you not say anything about any kind of weird animal torture or <laughs> sexual abuse? Can right. you not imply that you touch Jace in his privates? Mm. Tracy. What? Tracy, I'm that was... She uh, said imply. Those children, she said imply. Those children get enough abuse <laughs> as it is. Here we are. Huh. Uh, and he said yes. And then the scene went very differently. Mm. Yeah. And then Barb had to and talk about. And she was like, "Well, she only tried to one, do We only get control. one shot. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. She's like, "This is not in the contract. We to can't edit run this. it back. Nope. All right, Colin, why don't you go lay down? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good try. You, you seem, uh-huh. you seem go play tired. some video games. Uh, <laughs> how long has he been living there? I thought he yeah, was. He just showed up. So he. he just, I'll tell yeah. you how I knew that he was living there. So um, he was uh, accompanying them to the reunion. Oh. And he claimed. Uh, in conversations with me and on Facebook to p- the public that he wasn't in contact with them at right, all. Right, right. Uh, he lived in a group home mm-hmm. and he had a girlfriend who was put in jail. Uh, he I said remember. wrongfully for murder. Oh, I hate when that happens. They were together for weeks, just just a few weeks. But so he, he they were said, in love. He said a few years and that they were also, that was her his fiance. He's like, I know her. She couldn't have killed anybody. Yeah. Um and then he said that she was killed while she was in custody. I remember. Immediately oh. after taken into custody, mm-hmm. she was murdered by the jail. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Chanel, we're going to have to fill you in on some of the details. We'll, uh, we'll send you some, we'll send you some of the screenshots. It's really messy. Yeah. I mean, what an unfortunate thing to happen so quickly. Right. Uh, <laughs> so you meet still- someone, you get engaged, they get arrested for murder. They get killed in jail like and within, within a day. Right. Yeah. Whoa. Like she wasn't that into you. Like, <laughs> like, just let it go, you know? Oh my God, no wonder he was washing the dishes. He had to keep his mind off of things. <laughs> so in this episode, we see Janelle gets to ch- take Jace to therapy. And the saddest part about this is uh, she's taking him to therapy. And to her, and to like she's making it like she gets to take him to Disney World every right. Thursday. I right. <laughs> it's so sad, though. She just doesn't And he's get in therapy it. because of her? Just saying. No. You know, wait. So now he finds a sticker in her car, and the way she talks to him. First of all, Jace is like nine. Yeah, Jace is. He, you could have a conversation with a nine-year-old. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I never have, but yeah, you can. Someone can have a conversation. Not me, but someone can have a conversation. I'm sure, Gabrielle, you've had conversations. I have conversations with, with kids of all ages. Right. Okay. Um, she was like, "That's a sticker for the NRA." Mm. Like, why did you, you notice the look on her face when she said it? It was she, weird. It was smug. It yeah. was very smug. It was smug. She was and like, I'm so excited that you naturally brought this up so I can say yeah. it. Right. And I want to slap She's like the, the shit out of right her. Right. Did like that, they yes. help people protect themselves with their own guns. She's such a little fucking but bitch. But see, that's why I love this show. Because she's sitting there passing down this knowledge, right. so to speak. Right. right. On this thing that she thinks she's knowledgeable about. Sure. And you yeah. Get to watch the whole cycle. She's yes. so ignorant. And Barb probably told her about the NRA. You think? Oh, I Wait, definitely know. David back told in the her. Day. No, David I told her that Barb's an NRA. Or no, I'm just making a joke about right. bumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Listen, in this in this example, David's her dad. Yeah, let's get real. It, came, it got that. passed down, is what I'm saying. It got passed down. Oh from her yeah. Dad, David. Oh yeah. She's so easily influenced. Her so husband, easily. uncle. Husband, her husband, uncle. Yeah. Uncle. <laughs> Uh, so they're going <laughs> to go to the frying pan for dinner, which is the place on stilts, the place on stilts, which is really an interesting place to take your son, mm-hmm. because let me tell you what happened out there on that dock. Do you know about that dock? What's the dock? What? So you remember they took a little walk on the dock after dinner? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you remember some pictures, uh, spread Eagle that actually, uh, 
I that Colin has shared. Yes. Colin, uh, who is this, the brother of yeah. Janelle, shared some naked photos of Janelle with her crotch spread wide open. Oh, I saw. Where did he share them? Uh, he shared them on Facebook. Oh, actually. recently? Oh, no. What? Now you can Quite Google recently. them. Quite They're recently. on Google They're images. Why did he do that? Because he was being uh, vindictive? Um, I think just because he's a little bit off. What would I That's Google? I'm going to pull this up from the beast. Janelle naked. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> these are old pictures that she took. I think uh, maybe it was when she was with Nathan. I, I think I feel like it was before then. She looked yeah young. She uh, yeah. spread her vagina open on that particular dock, and then she took Jace there and talked about how she's never even taken David there. There you go. Oh, pass pass yeah. it over here. Let me see. It was on the dock. It yeah. was on the dock. Yeah. The frying pan. So yeah, you're right. Because when she was with Nathan, she was in sick shape, oh, and she also didn't have boobs this is yet. Terrible. Right. Yeah. This is terrible. Why would? Yeah, but then. Did, do you notice how much she talked about the dock? This is uh-huh. terrible. She's yeah. like, I used to come to this dock all the time when I was little. Yeah, when you were little, stop when your tits were little. Stop going to the docks. To take pictures. Stop going to docks. Inappro- this, was in- this is like inappropriate. She almost you wanted think? Jace to ask, like, Mommy, have you ever been naked on this dock? Right. What? Actually, I'm glad you asked that. I have been naked on this you dock. You know why? Because it is my right as an American. <laughs> right. <laughs> and David and I believe <laughs> that you can do whatever you want. Right, you can <laughs> spread your vagina open on a dock. This is our land. And it's also a very <laughs> tasty restaurant where you can order... Um, a lot of people are going crazy about this. I thing. know. She ordered a virgin strawberry daiquiri and a Coke. Is that too much sugar? Yeah. A virgin a strawberry shit? daiquiri and a Coke, and a Coke. For, for Jason. Uh, but come here's on, the thing. having it every day? That's what's wrong with her right. parenting. Mm. Right. They, lo- they were eating some delicious looking hush puppies. Okay. They brought the hush puppies <laughs> over before they even took the drink order. That is my type of restaurant. <laughs> I think I think it was like it was like chips and salsa at a Mexican yeah, place. They like just they bring hush puppies. Yeah. yeah. Speaking oh, of white trash, hush puppies. Uh, me Chanel too. doesn't really know you very well, Noel. But... Uh, <laughs> Noel, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you see, like, she's drinking a Pepsi right now. Uh, Noel and, and, and really eating Altoids. Really, <laughs> eating if they're not curiously strong, right? <laughs> I love Altoid. I love just, mint. Just taking. She's them down. eating an Altoid like a, like a party nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, ooh, another. Like a beer uh-huh. nut, ooh, right? Another. Like y- it would take me a day to eat an Altoid. No, yeah. I love Altoids. I would take a lick and then put it on the windowsill. When I was seriously a toddler maybe two years old my father had a gigantic garden mm-hmm. and he grew so much mint and i would just sit there and just eat it eat it i've loved mint my whole life she was like i feel yeah. nothing yeah, yeah <laughs> i i don't even <laughs> notice i don't i'm surprised i have taste buds with the amount of yeah. these things i suck so yeah. noelle likes uh junk food she eats sometimes for breakfast a hershey <laughs> kiss bag a Not bag of them? A bag. <laughs> a full size bag that you would maybe put in a an entire I bowl don't for guests. She has time to unwrap all of those. Oh, she has it's, the time. It's taxing. <laughs> How she's do you like think she stays it. in shape? She's like, it's worth it. Just this morning, this, this you morning I had an insure in. and Oreos. That's what I had this morning. It's really you had a what? Bad. An, an insure? Yes. And Oreos. Okay. Yeah. It was well, good. You know, I felt like Jay so was a lot of sugar. I was jacked up, and then driving, I was listening to Cardi B. It was a lot. Oh you my god, so was I. Really, it was a lot. Guys, everybody's listening to Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle came into the house and said, "I found a song that you're gonna love. It's called Through Your Phone." Yeah, that's Tracy's great song. <laughs> that is Tracy's. That's that Tracy's, Tracy's jam. jam it is yeah. my yeah. jam, and I actually sent it to my boyfriend recently, and I said, "I love this song," and he goes, "Word." That's, that's lit. funny. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. And yeah, it's like you don't get it. Okay, never mind. Mm. Proud of you. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Um, so date night. She she she's like you know this is nice that we go to therapy together because we can go to therapy and then we can go to dinner. But she always has to bring up. I usually don't go because Meme goes with you. Yes. What? <sighs> okay, Jace. How do you feel now that I can go with you? That the court is letting right. me. And it's like stop it. It's so ugly. Like I <sighs> I just can never imagine forcing your child to have a conversation like that right. so that the cameras can get it. Oh, right. like, it. She tries to make it seem like it's just natural. Like, we yep. just talk about it anyway. And it's like, no, you wouldn't just pull information out of this. Hey, camera. how do you feel like that That the court ripped you out of my house, Jace? Yeah, you're right. happy, Whoa. right? You're happy, right? Because Mei Mei, because what she said. Does she touch you? Does yeah. she hurt you? It was so, it's so she, annoying. She made it seem like to her friend in the forest that <laughs> Barb is the one that does that to him. Okay. It's Janelle. Right. They both do it. They no, both, they do, both it. do it. Jace is probably like, get me the fuck out of here. Yeah. He, right. He's, he's, he's showing better off with Andrew in New York City. Oh, my God. Andrew's a suit. international supermodel. Yes. Do you remember Andrew? Andrew? Jace's real dad? He's got a He's a supermodel. Really? He Hanging. claimed that he was. Oh. I remember so, seeing him on like 
one of the specials. Yeah, do you remember the yeah. special recently where he looked like Macaulay Culkin? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he looks sick. <laughs> he did look. He had the hip. He I looked swear. dope. Sick. And he doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't visit, does he? No, Not really. No, he no. doesn't have any rights. Even to after him. the oh, DNA right. test, nope. nothing. Yeah. Nope. He. Uh, yeah. So, but when she was talking to her friend in the forest, Gabrielle, <laughs> she was saying all the right things. I know. Ah. Oh. It was. It was just. Listen, I have she, that jacket. She by talks the way. a good game. Shocking. If you didn't know her, <laughs> you would. You okay, would in this her. episode, if you didn't know more about uh-huh. her, you would think that maybe she's a nice mom. She was really nice. No, just, minus the it. NRA sticker conversation. Right. No, I liked it. I know it's just a. It's a certain point when you you have to take your son to therapy because you have to. Right. Right. Because it's court order. Right. You know. Because it's gotten to a certain point where where he has to go with all different has, kinds of people in his house. It has to has be problems. done, and it has to be done that way. Because mistakes have been made, so nope. it's it's like on the surface it does look like good parenting, but the reality is that it, it's, it's very very bad. It's it's the cherry on top of a lot of really not good things. It's the scariest part of Teen Mom. She mm. was she like responded to somebody's tweet and she was like, "You guys only see like what you see on yes. camera, blah blah." blah but mm-hmm. I never fucking left my son, and it's like you didn't leave him the court made beep, you not beep, be there with you him. did because you were she did leave because, him because you yourself. signed over custody yeah because yeah, you were and such now a you bad keep throwing it in your mother's face but you signed over custody because you are a heroin addict and mm-hmm. even to say i never left him like we've been watching you for years if we, you never we left him alone right. in these last few years then you have fucked him up a little right because you maybe right. needed to you yeah. maybe needed that's to leave true. him alone yeah. for a little that's while that's a really good now point. True. something that's a little bit hard to talk about and a little bit uh sensitive Jace is displaying some signs of yes. a speech problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, like stuttering? Well, when no. he spoke to Janelle, like he did that sentence about going on the dock, he was twitching real like a lot. Yeah. Which mm. is probably from his medication. Yes. Agreed. And he was like, sl- like his, his words, he like couldn't pronounce like certain words correctly. Mm-hmm. Okay. But also Barb yeah. taught him how to say words probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so, so true. There could be a correlation. What do you think Jace's yeah. first words were? Baba. Uh, do you think they were like something like <laughs> shithead or what did she call them? Right. Or what did he call oh, pieces of shit? Pieces, pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, that was like that, that was unsettling. That I mean, was funny, that but also good. unsettling. Was, it was, I don't know. I, I imagine that, that that conversation between them happens all the time. I really do imagine yeah. that she's always saying they're terrible, right, Jace? Yeah, you're right. And then she feeds him. Right. And right. He's like, well, she knows everything. I feel bad for Jace. I really do. Jace is not right. No, Jace has way, emotional problems. It, it runs in the family, around. though. I think he'll I think come, we'll around, come around, mostly because he'll be able to go back and watch these episodes, and he'll be like, "Oh, there's right. nothing wrong with me." Right? Look, like, you, guys, right. you guys are all fucked right. up. Yeah. Right? But it's at crazy. the same time, there is a genetic. Oh thing yeah. Oh, one hundred. And we'll get into that. Like with everything, the everything yeah. is uh, stacked against him. Yeah. Yes. So, and it's like really, if you're looking at genes, like you're kind of batting that like you're hoping that Andrew is yeah kind of okay, and he's not. Yeah, Andrew's not okay. Right. So yeah. Oh my god! I think his first words were like "boyfriend." Ensley's cute. Ensley's cute. Yeah, She's Ensley cute. looks. <coughs> but Jace is cute too, though. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. All, listen, they look exactly. Nobody like, is cuter than Kaiser. No, <gasps> but Jace Kaiser. and Ensley look a lot. Alike. They look exactly they like, do. and also if they you look saw, like Janelle. If you saw Janelle's baby picture, that's what yeah. she looks like. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Kaiser is so cute, but he's also so bad. What well, Kaiser? He's the like so bad. He's bad. gonna yeah, be. So I want Kaiser to date Addy, but he's gonna be so ugly because he's the cutest baby, and he's like a cute little blonde chubby baby. But imagine that, like, as, like you think he's gonna be? Like I a think monster. he's gonna be huge. Yeah. I think he's gonna be a he's big old be dude. Huge. Yeah. I don't really think he's gonna be that good looking, but mm. as a child, I could eat his face off. Yeah, he's adorable. He's so cute. Uh, we're going to get into some gossip Ooh. now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so the first thing that uh, In Touch Weekly reports is that Javi has taken six months to go to one of his baby mama's uh, doctor's appointments, and people are outraged. Outraged. I did not know you he know, had a new baby mama. What? I mean, I saw, I, until today, before I got here, I did not know that. Holy shit. Yeah, he works he, very yeah, he quickly. He got someone pregnant. Yeah, and, and she were, seems pretty popular yeah. online. Well, I, mean, I mean, it's from know, He can't be alone. Mm. No. You know? Oh yeah. But like eye roll that everyone's like, oh my god, you didn't go. People She's look like six, for things. Like get the fuck over it. Like you don't know what goes on. I know, yeah. and I thought I thought maybe he was referencing like I've been away or I've something has been happening to prevent me. Right. From like going. maybe he was air forcing. Mm. Who don't knows? Know he said saying. he made it to it. Maybe he didn't want to go because he didn't want the tabloids to talk before. Well, he that's what they were it. saying too. They were saying that uh, it said in the article he I didn't want to yeah. be in. He might not have wanted to get caught going to the 
thing. So now, uh, In Touch also reports Team Mom 2 star Kaylin Lowry hints that she's been celebrating Lux's birthday with Chris Lopez. So her tweet was, uh, so what happened was they were going to do uh, one theme. A Coco theme. A Coco, Coco theme, theme, right. Yeah. And then they decided against that theme, so they were going to give away the yeah. decorations. So you know, Kaylin the Chaos, she's like, let's do a giveaway. Like, let's do a thing. Like, here, just guys tweet me. Yeah. And so, oh, well, Chris there's a re- and I decided. Hi, followers. So I was going to have a Coco theme party for Lux, but Chris and I decided to change it last minute. I have a ton of Fiesta slash Coco themed birthday stuff, unopened and unused. If you could use it, tweet me. Uh, and a lot of the the tweets were like, hey, I'd like it. But then also a lot of the tweets were Chris and I. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said, Chris and I, LOL, ready for the waterworks when he don't bother showing up. Has he signed <laughs> the birth certificate and paid all the child support? Since then, one fan asked. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. I want to re- rewrite her tweet. Yeah. Let's rewrite it. Yeah. Okay. Kaylin, what are you doing? Go ahead. Rewrite it. Hey, guys. Is that what she said? She started yeah. with, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Chris touched my hand today. <laughs> 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 so I feel great. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was amazing. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> That's what she meant. Yeah. Yep. That's really what she meant. Yeah. As a lot of people don't pick up Chris, subtext. Chris, uh, <laughs> Chris took my phone call. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he acknowledged that Lux is his son today. He turned on his <laughs> read receipts again. <laughs> <laughs> So now I can not see. legally acknowledging him. He's a <laughs> son, but just on the phone with me, he That's acknowledged really was funny. Uh, so now also something that we don't care about. Uh, former 16 and pregnant star Kayla Jordan gives birth to baby number three. Yeah, I, I was like, I, I, I must have looked I at her picture over and was. over. Again. I, I was did like, too. I, don't, I, I don't Googled know, her. I, I don't remember, remember her. I remember her a little bit. So just like the people that moved on to teen mom, <laughs> she also has three different babies with three different fathers. Yeah, I did peep that. And she was engaged to both of them. So congratulations Kayla. Yeah. so even though yeah. you didn't get the contract you still live the life yeah you still live the same exact <laughs> life uh leah's new man so there's a little bit of controversy around this but right. is there i don't know there's a lot of bullshit going on there is a lot of bullshit so uh it, it's kind of odd so her new boyfriend that we called out last week mm-hmm. he has a parody youtube channel Oh, yeah. That makes fun of meth addicts. His name is Jason Jordan. So but apparently people are saying he was her extra because dealer. Because there was okay. a blind about it. So do you it. have the blind item? Does I, have the blind item? I took a screenshot of it, I think. And it's old. Like, it's an old series, you know? Something he, he right. filmed a long time ago. Obviously, that doesn't make a, a difference. Like, you know, it is I don't what think it is. Yeah, but you also, you live in, you live in West Virginia. Mm. Where everyone does But math. see, this <gasps> is the problem when teen moms try to get a regular guy and just think that his right. indiscretions or like just decisions oh, that he's made will stand up in the limelight and they won't. Oh, you got sure. it. Gabrielle, okay. go ahead. You could read the blind item. Um, I thought this MTV mom was finally getting her act together. Well, honestly, she had been together for the past for about the past year. Now, hey, when you start dating your former drug dealer, how do you think that is going to work out for all involved? He has also pimped out a few women over the years mm. in his never ending quest to make money and not pay taxes. What? I mean, so how do you how do you think that these are reliable? They're always reliable. That's from yeah. NT Lawyer. So what do you think now? I feel like if I if Kaylin, if I didn't know her better, I would think Kaylin because I could see Chris Lopez being a pimp. Right. You know? Okay. But I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, don't think Kaylin was on drugs. No. But you really think that that's about Leah? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that she was ever on meth. I think that she was on opiates. As soon as she admitted to needing treatment or going to yes. need help, people were like, you're off. Well, she up. said that she well, was thing on is, Percocet and Oxycontin. Right. Mm. After right. she gave birth to Addie. Yeah. And which right. she wa- I mean, she was. I mean, yeah, she visibly, was slurring. Visibly, right. she was fucked up. She was falling yeah. asleep when she was on the phone. Oh, uh, I remember she like almost dropped the kid. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all the so time. So bad. Uh, so Teen Mom 2 star Janelle Evans hints she's not filming for season nine amid contract disputes. So what her dispute is, is that she wants David, even if he's not going to film an MTV, he, she wants them to be able to be in the house during right. filming, which I, I don't kinda, understand I why kinda, I get they're, that. they're like so upset okay. about it. Why, yeah, he would have to leave the house. Yeah, well, like so yeah. Uh, here's a little bit of inside information. What? MTV had some problems with David when they were filming. Okay. David has a lot of guns. Mm-hmm. And he does not keep them locked properly. Right. MTV offered to put a trailer on his land to have him lock the guns while they filmed. And he said no. So I'm thinking that possibly it could have to do with his guns. They don't want him in the house. Like, like I think afraid. it's, it's yeah. an actual danger Makes to the sense. crew. 
Uh, so they don't want him on. I mean, I'm just assuming that that's what it is. I mean, he's a loose cannon. He's Isn't a it yeah. scary. Like, how does she live with somebody that you don't know if they're going to murder you and your family? Because she doesn't care. That's all she has. And then she's, she's like, like, if that's what David thinks is best, then we exactly. Gotta, right. You she's hit the nail on the head. She's yep. brainwashed. So now she also wants MTV to uh, when she does the reunions, even if David's not on camera, she wants him to go with her, and he, she wants and MTV to pay, to, for it. to pay for it. Which you know, what? I kind of get it though. I don't get that. No, but absolutely what is she supposed not. to go by herself? Yeah, like, I mean, she's got. Three why kids. not? Because she's not allowed to go anywhere too bad David. but that you know what that's too bad mtv shouldn't have to pay for it because he's abusive right you know no Come no on. but i'm saying from janelle's point i get it not from a real point nah, yeah. i don't get it so now mtv is not backing good down, and they will not negotiate so that she still has not signed a season nine contract which is mtv's frustrated because of all of this kaiser drama that happened last weekend and she won't let them she, she, she didn't let them they film it she didn't let yeah. them film anything and they were like you know janelle you could tell your side of the story nope. and she's like nope not doing it because david won't let her right yeah but i just hope that she uh at the end of the day doesn't let david fuck up her money like i'm sure she's doing fine I'm i don't know no, i fine. i've heard she's broke yeah i, like, I think that she's gonna consistently get work though people are gonna book her on things they're gonna give her endorsements Some, like, endorsements but yeah so it's not gonna uh, be like yeah, but it's not gonna be teen mom money but yeah, i hope but the that problem she is, is smart don't about it be with him no they don't i know be associated with him that's yeah. why i right. hope that she'll be smart about it and recognize like either i gotta get a leash on him or no, i gotta know. it's past no, that yeah. there's no leash. so past there's that no leash. and it's it's sad because we've seen her go through so much and it's really sad that she can i used to like her a lot so yeah. did i and it's sad you know it's, she went down a bad path everybody makes mistakes but it just gets worse and worse with every relationship she's in and it's true. like this guy will be her demise true but come story. on uh Fans call Simon Saran's new girlfriend an upgrade. She's from Farrah. hot. She's super hot. So much prettier so than Farrah. Listen, she's super hot. She. Uh, they said that the similarities between them are that they like to show their body off on Instagram. Good for her though. <laughs> she doesn't look like Michael Jackson like Farrah does. She's, yeah, she's not gross. So. Yeah, but- uh, he has terrible taste. Yeah, but that's <sighs> who he is, though. Yeah, he okay. thinks that's that. True. I just, I like, just wanted to like discredit him real quick, so we could say like, no matter who he's with, it just you know. Right, like, right. He's the guy getting a table at the club. Yeah, right. Bottle service. Because he needs everyone to see him. Yes. Bottle service with yes. a sparkly right. light. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sparkly light. Yep. Yeah. Three sparklers, not two. <laughs> Crazy shit. <laughs> You're okay. absolutely right. Yep. One extra bottle of orange juice. Um. He. So they they said that another similarity is that. Uh, Ashley likes to work out and Farah advertises weight loss lollipops <laughs> which <laughs> I thought was a little bit They're of a dig- they were really digging yeah. on that one They're hilarious like, Ooh. hilarious so that happened uh, a fan call- oh no I, actually I think it was um, he was a ac- Randy was accused of living off his daughter yeah. Chelsea yeah. he had the best clap back ever so was it a fan that wrote to him yeah it was yeah. a fan it was a fan wrote- and they said you know uh pathetic living on your daughter's fame and he wrote back to them on twitter lol i'm living on four years of college four years of dental school and 29 years of being a dentist i love it boom go fucking yeah. randy mm-hmm. yeah uh, he's certainly not living off of chelsea's no face. way chelsea's living off of his dentist but not even just that but like even on the show like when he was on it he was great he yeah. definitely you know like papa randy's the yeah. best I, w- I wish we could have more of him i wish that he was on more he's a lot more fun to watch than Chelsea's. And I, I was just blown that he had a Twitter. Oh, oh Randy's always, yeah. always on Twitter. I was like, shut Randy up, Randy. Will, not only does Randy, isn't Randy on Twitter, but he will uh, call out David on Twitter. Mm, he called out yep. Javi recently. He said that it's going to be called Teen Mom 2 and Javi. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah he's, he's really active He's very on sassy. There. Yeah. He's a silly dentist. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> a silly He is a dentist. very silly dentist. Drita and Farah continue to beef. Mm-hmm. Okay, is Drita threatening Farah with legal action? Ask your lawyer what happens when you make up stories. Farah will not leave this alone. Yeah. She is talking shit about Drita saying that she is a drug, drug addict. A all clown, this kind of stuff. Yeah, so, a, in an ab- abusive relationship. Right. Right. So uh, Drita, I think, might be sending Farah's lawyer over some uh, documents to review. They mm. need to get it over it. Farah needs to fucking stop. She needs to stop. Speaking of Farah, Deb Danielson says Teen Mom fans constantly urge her to try to get custody of Farah Abraham's daughter, Sophia. Okay, Farah might be a clown, but Deb should not happening, not Deb. have custody It ain't happening. Deb. Why? Because you're a rap star You know, now? Michael should have custody of Farah. Serious. Of Farrah. I mean, of Farah. You hear me? Michael of, should have custody of, of Farah. <laughs> 
No one has custody of Farrah. Like, who which the, is the hell? Like, part. come on. Yeah, Deb. Part. I'm sure she's real sane. Jesus Christ. All they would have to do is, like, watch her accessories. <laughs> <laughs> her hat. They'd be like, oh, my God, is she a brat doll? That's <laughs> exactly what she looks Jesus like, too. Jesus Christ. Uh, Chanel, what do you have coming up? Where can we see you? Oh, man. Uh, on Wednesday, the 18th, I'm headlining the Punchline Comedy Club in Philadelphia. Guys, if you're in Philadelphia, Whoa. go check out Chanel. That is crazy. It is going to be so lit. Um, super lit other than that you can always check my website chanelali.com uh, I always have like my my upcoming dates and oh, I cool. got silly videos and shit so yeah so you can check also girl code on MTV it's girl Snapchat. code on MTV it's on Snapchat you can just go to Snapchat and just search for girl code just space those words out girl code and you'll get every episode that we released this last season OMG it's 12 episodes also uh, I'm in 11 um, I'm in 11 of them oh I my god paid for 12 though <laughs> hey. Hey. and that's how you do it that's, yeah, that's how you do it <laughs> Remind us about your uh, social media. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Chanel underscore underscore Ali. That's Chanel like the perfume. Two underscores. Cool. Ali like Muhammad. Awesome. Uh, Noel, you're running a great catering business. You're also doing meal prep now. Yes. Talk to me. Where can we find um, you? You can find me on Instagram at Full Belly Catering mm-hmm. uh, or FullBellyCaterers.com. And uh, I am Noe underscore Bear 810 mm-hmm. on Instagram. Noel Winters on Facebook and at Noe Girl on Twitter. Cool. Gabrielle, you do makeup? Mm-hmm. Makeup tutorials? Yes. I'm on YouTube, Gabrielle Nicole X0X. I'm on Twitter, Gab Nicole X. On Instagram, Gabrielle Nicole X. And then I have my makeup Instagram, which yes. is Glam by Gab. I'm pretty sure there's an X at the end. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'm on Snapchat, G Nicole 22. Guys, we also have an additional podcast. It's called BS, not team mom related. And that's available on our Patreon for $2 and up. You can listen to, we have now 12 episodes. Yeah, we do. And this one was very good that we just recorded. This was, so. Chanel was here. I was yeah. on it. I yeah. did it. That's right. You sure did. Uh, we talked about Gabrielle's dating life a little bit or lack thereof. So check it out. Um, we talk about stealing. We talk about, st- oh yeah, we do. We yeah, talk we about do. a lot. There's a lot of juicy stuff on this podcast. So if you sign up to be a $2 Patreon and that's at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Teen Mom Trash Talk. Also, if you sign up to be a $5 patron, what the fuck? You get to be in our secret group. Mm-hmm. The secret group is like amazing. Yeah, because right I now we have our regular group it. that anyone can join. Right. So that's uh, Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk discussion, podcast discussion on Facebook, and that anyone can join that. And we have about 5,000 members right now, and it is fun, fun, fun all day long. Uh, but if you want to get a little m- more personal with us, you can join the secret uh, Teen Mom Trash Talk discussion for the five dollar level mm. when you do that you get a free sticker you just send me your address and i will send you a free sticker and if okay. you want to buy a sticker if you want to buy a sticker for three dollars you could venmo me mm-hmm. uh you could find out that information on instagram at teen mom trash talk and you could buy a sticker i will send it right to your house we awesome. have the coolest Insane. stickers we do have the coolest stickers we do uh, if you want to check out my shows, uh, you can go to TracyCarnazzo.com. I have some tour dates coming up. And you could follow me personally at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. Follow us at Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram. Follow us at Teen Mom Podcast on Twitter. And most of all, follow us on Snapchat. That's right. At TM Trash Talk. Yes. What? what? And don't forget to watch Chanel on Girl Code MTV. Thank you, guys. Thank Yay. you so Thank much you for, for coming. coming. We hope this you come so back. Uh, we're going to add you to the group so you can join in on the discussion, whether you like it or not. Thank Yay. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.